Good evening. I am Ann Heck, one of the principals at Lake Geneva Middle School. And on behalf of Grant Strobel, the LGMS staff, and myself, we welcome each of you to our Lake Geneva Joint One Virtual Promotion Ceremony. Due to COVID-19, we are unable to see all of you in person, and we very much miss that. But we hope you are able to watch this with your family in the comfort of your own home. We would like to personally extend a warm welcome to friends and family members of our eighth grade students who are watching this. In addition, we say thank you to our superintendent, Dr. Gottinger, and the members of the Joint One Board of Education, Mrs. Marcy Holman, Mrs. Linda Bailey Boilini, Mrs. Barb Dinan, Mr. Mike Franzine, and Mrs. Carrie Spiegelhoff for supporting the class of 2020. We gather this evening to recognize the hard work and dedication of the eighth grade students. Tonight is about celebrating, and to open our celebration this evening, I ask Araceli Romero Molina, Student Council President, to share her thoughts with the eighth grade class and audience. To my eighth grade classmates, I believe we can all agree that eighth grade was not normal. COVID-19 may have gotten in the way of us experiencing the boat dance, music trips, promotion, and ruining our track season. But I think we can all agree we are glad not to take the MAP test and the forward exam. I would like to thank all the teachers, principals, and staff members for putting in the hard work so we could all be successful. As we transitioned from fifth to sixth grade, we were all anxious to find out what middle school would hold for us. As we tried opening our lockers to finding our classes, we all made new friends. As we all changed, the end of sixth grade came. One of the best memories I have is outdoor ed, where we all experienced great times, learned to work together, and make new friendships. As fall came, seventh grade was around the corner. We were able to be more involved in clubs. We all began to try new things such as track, basketball, and volleyball. As we all began to change, we all had our ups and downs, from failing a test you thought you were going to ace to losing great friendships. As Marhaya Yushaba once said, failure is the key to success. Each mistake teaches us something. At the end of seventh grade, the lake walk came. I remember it being so hot that day, but it, we made it the memories along the way with our friends. And then eighth grade came. As sixth graders, we were all scared of the eighth graders, and now we were them. In the beginning of the year, we were all stoked about eighth grade. Many of us were excited for the end of the year. It may have not happened as we planned, but from September to March, we all made memories even in class, from fun science experiments, learning about wars and social studies, enjoying math, and reading The Outsiders. We all made countless memories in each class. Even though we didn't notice, most of us matured throughout middle school. These past few years were all preparing us for high school. It might not be the same as high school musical makes it seem, but it won't be the end of the world. We will all mature physically, mentally, and academically. We may look back at middle school now and think it was terrible, but one day we will laugh at all the dumb things we did with our friends. Even though most of us would never want to experience middle school again, the memories will always be with us. As a chapter closes in our lives, a new one begins. Thank you to everyone who made middle school an experience I will never forget. I wish you all the best of luck and success in high school. Thank you, Araceli, for your thoughts. It is now my pleasure to introduce our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. James Gottinger, who will share his thoughts with the Class of 2020. Congratulations, Class of 2020. We are very proud of your accomplishments as you exit Lake Geneva Middle School, and we certainly wish you the best as you continue your venture, uh, educational adventure at Badger High School in the future and become the Class of 2024. So once again, I uh, want to congratulate you and all of the successes that you've had here at Lake Geneva Middle School. Also want to take the opportunity to thank uh, your parents for all of the support that they provided for you as you've uh, continued your educational career. And I always challenge parents at this time to make sure that they stay in contact uh, with their students and their students' teachers as they go to Badger High School and to stay involved in their child's education moving forward. Uh, also, those out there who are supportive of uh, our 2020 graduates, uh, family members, grandparents, um, and brothers and sisters, siblings, uh, again, uh, stay in contact with these great eighth grade graduating class this year and uh, make sure that these students stay on track to be as successful at uh, Badger High School as they have here. 
Also wanted to take the opportunity to uh, thank our school board uh, for all of the great uh, opportunities that they have provided for the students of our Lake Geneva Joint Number One School District. Uh, Marcy Holman, the president of the uh, Lake Geneva School Board, uh, Barb Dynan, uh, Carrie Spiegelhoff, Mike Franzine, and Linda Bailey Boilini uh, have all done a great job in providing the resources uh, that uh, have given your uh, your students, you graduates, uh, the opportunities that you've had here, including uh, in this virtual environment, uh, the Chromebooks that uh, have completed your education at Lake Geneva Middle School for the past uh, quarter. Um, as you're receiving your awards and you get uh, the recognitions that you duly deserve, I always uh, make a comment about success and that success is important in breeding success in the future. So those of you who have uh, been really, have done a great job here at Lake Geneva Middle School, you've set a terrific course, you've set a terrific example, and you know what it takes to be successful moving forward. I do challenge you to continue uh, on your path of success as you go to Badger and beyond. Uh, you know how to do it. I challenge you to keep doing the things that you've done to make your suc yourself successful here as you move forward. With that, there are a number of you who are sitting, uh, receiving your uh, diploma. You're not sitting here. I have to uh, remember that that's not the case this year. Maybe you haven't done that well. You know, you haven't maybe put forth your best effort. You've maybe struggled. School hasn't really been uh, the, the greatest thing in your, your life. Uh, with that, this is another new opportunity for a new start as you move forward. So I do challenge you that uh, set goals for yourself as you go to Badger High School. Uh, work hard, follow those examples of students and people that you know that have been successful because it is a new start. The things that have happened here uh, are over and you will get uh, the opportunity to be successful in a brand new setting. Uh, so with that, as you leave Lake Geneva Middle School, um, thank you for everything that you've done here. Uh, your accomplishments continue those moving forward. Uh, one of the things that I think as teachers and administrators we always like to talk to our kids about is uh, the uh, ability to adapt to change, uh, that life is changing and the world is changing as we know it. Obviously nothing could be more uh, change oriented than what's going on right now. This is the first time for me that I've had to give a virtual uh, address uh, for a promotion ceremony. It is the first virtual ceremony that you've had. However, it may not be the last, and your ability to adapt to change is going to very, be very important to you as you move forward. Out of this pandemic time and the changes that we've had to have and the sacrifices that we've had to make, uh, you uh, have been forced to become much more resilient in being able to um, uh, take on the challenges uh, that are facing you today, to keep moving forward academically, to deal with the fact that you've been socially isolated for long periods of time, and I admire you for doing that. That will make you stronger going forward. And your ability to persevere through this particular time will also bode well for you as you move to the future. Uh, so in closing, I'd just like to say to the class of 2020 at Lake Geneva Middle School, we appreciate everything that you've done. We did not want your school career to end the way that is ending, not being in our schools, and neither did any of your teachers, who I'm sure you're hearing that message from tonight. Uh, but with that, as you move forward to Badger, uh, work hard. I'm sure that the normalcy will return to our school district and to your education uh, over a period of time. And uh, we look forward to shaking your hand, uh, maybe, as you cross the stage in 2024, become Badger High School graduates. Thank you, students. Thank you, parents. And uh, have a great summer and uh, moving on to your educational career. Thank you, Dr. Gottinger, for your words of wisdom. On an evening such as this, it is appropriate that we devote a portion of the program to recognize those students who have excelled during their time at Lake Geneva Middle School. It is my pleasure to introduce Julie Milligan, school counselor, who will be introducing the recipients of the 2020 Leadership Award. The Leadership Award is based on the following criteria. The student demonstrates leadership skills in and out of the classroom and at school activities. The student influences others to be positive role models, gives time and effort to help those around him or her, shows courtesy to others, and guides others to be better citizens. This year, we had 74 students who were nominated by at least one staff member. 
we will be recognizing the 28 students who were nominated by three or more staff members. Grant Bittner, Rachel Boyle, Rachel Chandek, Wild Chupik, Alexander Cornu, Ella Creighton, Joseph Doyle, Nicole Dyer, Amelia Furlow, Jacqueline Garcia Amador, Lexi Gustafson, Finn Hillier, Brennan Jeckums, Rhea Kaiser, Kylie Cramp, Sydney Krause, Olivia Murray, Lucy Pether, Anii Rodriguez, Araceli Romero Molina, Lily Schult, Zoe Sheeks, Isaac Salverson, Abigail Tiemann, Stephen Wang, Ava Weber, Genevieve Wilson, and Danica Wise Stevens. It is my pleasure to introduce Rob Oker, school counselor, who will be introducing the recipients of the 2020 Citizenship Award. Hi, Mr. Oker here. I'm here to announce the Citizenship Award winners. The Citizenship Award is based on the following criteria. The students cooperate willingly with school regulations in regard to property, books, attendance, halls, lockers, and general school rules. The student contributes ideas which improve the situation and shows initiative by his or her studies. The student has high standards regarding honesty, reliability, fairness, and tolerance. This year, 127 students were nominated by at least one staff member. We will be recognizing 48 students who were nominated by three or more staff members. Congratulations to the 2019-20 Citizenship Award winners. The following students are Isabel Ackerman, Calvin Anderson, Danielle Aranda, Jacob Billingsley, Grant Bittner, Emily Blitzel, Gavin Bogart, Delilah Cardiff, Brianna Carr, Rachel Chendick, Wild Chupik, Alexander Cornu, Oscar Quadalacal, Maria Dickvoss, Joseph Doyle, Nicole Dyer, Amelia Furlow, Jacob Ghent, Leslie Gonzalez, Lexi Gufferson, Paige Iris, Kayla Johnson, Rhea Kaiser, Kylie Cramp, Sydney Krause, Marcella Kuchma, Sarah Mangold, Olivia Murray, Gage Nicholson, Rose Peters, Lucy Pether, Aaron Preetzner, Analia Rodriguez, Arceli Romero Molina, Molly Rood, Lily Schult, Zoe Sheeks, Maddie Sherman, Isaac Solerson, Hope Suhaida, James Jimbob Swike, Abigail Tiemann, Jocelyn Torres, Maya Tucker, Aiden Upling, Ava Weber, Geneve Wilson, and last but not least, Danica Wise Stevens. Congratulations to all of the Citizenship Award winners. It's my pleasure right now to introduce Mr. David Yos, health teacher and athletic director, to announce the Athletes of the Year. I'm honored to announce this year's Male and Female Athletes of the Year. These individuals have demonstrated tremendous performance, growth, coachability, and leadership in multiple sports here at LGMS. These qualities were recognized by their coaches, leading to their selection as this year's Athletes of the Year. The recipient of this year's Male Athlete of the Year is Aiden Upling. Congratulations to Aiden. We have two recipients for Female Athlete of the Year this year. Our co-Female Athletes of the Year are Genevieve Wilson, and Ava Weber. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to introduce Lauren Clement, Amanda Kraus, and Kim May to present the Music Awards. My name is Lauren Clement, and I will be presenting the 8th Grade Fiddle Club Awards and the Director's Award for Orchestra. This year's 8th Grade Fiddle Club Awards are as follows. Outstanding Soloist, Marcea Kuchma. Outstanding Improvisational Soloist, Lucy Pether and Sydney Krause. The Positive Pete Award goes to Kenny Doan. And Overall Leadership Award goes to Isaac Silverson. 
These students will receive a certificate. Thank you so much to all the eighth graders that were in Fiddle Club the past three years. We'll really miss your leadership. Every year, I have the eighth grade orchestra students help me decide who should receive the Orchestra Director's Award. This is what was said about this year's recipient. They are confident and play well. Other members of the orchestra, including me, can rely on them if we get lost or need to fix our rowing. They encourage people to get out of their comfort zone and play louder or play a solo. You can also tell they put in time at home to work on their pieces and are prepared for class. They deserve the director's award because they are constantly working incredibly hard to become a better player and are always willing to help those who are struggling. And finally, they are always trying their best at everything they do in orchestra and are just an overall amazing player. They also encourage others to try their best. Additionally, I will add, this student has been a dedicated member of the Fiddle Club for the past three years, never missing an early morning rehearsal. They have also been a member of the Milwaukee Youth Symphony and have taken private lessons. And this year, they took a Class A duet to solo and ensemble. I am pleased to announce this year's Orchestra Director's Award goes to Isaac Solverson. Isaac will receive a certificate and his name will be inscribed on a plaque that hangs in the Lake Geneva Middle School Orchestra Room. Thank you. My name is Amanda Krauss and I will be presenting the Drum Major Award, Jazz Award, and Director's Award for the 8th grade band. In 6th grade, the 8th grade band selected drum majors to lead their band. These students can completely run an outdoor music rehearsal from getting the band outside, in formation, at attention, with straight lines and spacing, and playing without any guidance from me. I'm incredibly proud of their leadership and musicianship. Congratulations to Allie Cooper and Olivia Murray on being three-year drum majors. Each year, the members of the eighth grade jazz band vote for the most outstanding jazz musician. The students then also write why they feel this individual should receive the award. The following statements were said about this year's two recipients as the vote ended in a tie. They are leaders in their section, always willing to solo, great at improvising, positive, and they both plan on continuing with jazz in high school. Congratulations to Kelvin Anderson and Grant Bittner for being selected as the most outstanding jazz musician for 2020. Each year, a director's award is given to an outstanding eighth grade band student. This person should be both a great musician and a leader in the band room. The students vote, and I have never had the students vote for someone different than I myself would select. This year was a tie. An overwhelming majority of students selected the following two students, and here's what they had to say about them. They take pride in anything and everything they do. They are both positive and always represent the band positively. These two students never get in trouble and they are both amazing at their instruments. They are also very kind. The two students lead the band and they push other players to do their best. These are the reasons why I choose Maxim Jinga and Ava Weber as the Director's Award recipients. They are both amazing musicians, leaders, and friends to their bandmates. Congratulations to these students and the entire eighth grade band. Today I will be announcing the recipients of the Choir Awards for the 2019-2020 school year. It has been my honor and my privilege to work with such amazing students in the 8th grade choir. I knew as soon as this group started in 6th grade that there was something special about them, and they have not only met every expectation I set for them, but have exceeded them by leaps and bounds. The first three awards are voted on by the 8th grade choir students. The first award today is for most improved choir member. This award is given to the person that the students feel grew the most over the year as a choir member. The person chosen this year has worked extremely hard and I could not be more proud of them. The award this year goes to Torrance Smith. Our next award is the most positive choir member. This person always has a positive attitude, works hard, is willing to help others without judgment or ridicule, is kind and generous, warm and nurturing, and always strives to help create a positive environment in our choir. The award this year goes to Delilah Cardiff. 
The third award that is voted on by students is the Outstanding Choir Student Award. This award is given in recognition of outstanding achievement and dedication to choir music. This award speaks to the recipient's vocal abilities as well as their qualities of leadership, teamwork, and sense of pride and dedication to the Lake Geneva Middle School Choir Program. This year's recipient is Gina Stanaway. The final award given is the Director's Award, which is given by myself and our accompanist, Mrs. Barrett. The award this year is being given to a student who has shown a great deal of dedication, drive, and leadership during the years that they have been involved in the choir program. They have demonstrated personal initiative and dedication, an excellent work ethic, along with a willingness to give of themselves in order to better the choir program. This person has been invaluable to me as a choir assistant and has been a positive role model for all students in the choir department and jazz choir. This year's director award goes to Danica Y. Stevens. At this time, we would like to recognize students who have had perfect attendance here at LGMS. This year, we had 10 students who had perfect attendance this year. They are Daniel Aranda, Ethan Francois, Abigail Hayden, Eliana Harmiel, Rhea Kaiser, Luke Lovato, Arwen Musling, Landon Myers, James Swake, Anna White. The following six students had perfect attendance for the past two years here at LGMS. They are Raymond Clevenger, Jacqueline Garcia Amador, Jacob Gent, Leslie Gonzalez, Cheyenne Skinner, and Jocelyn Torres. Congratulations. Next, I will introduce the recipients of the Lake Geneva Middle School Academic Excellence Awards. These students have maintained a 3.9 or higher GPA for all three years of their middle school years through the end of the third quarter this year. In addition to the pin or medal they will receive, their names will also be engraved onto a plaque to hang in the main hall of LGMS. They are joining an elite group of students who represent the finest of academic achievement. The following students had a GPA of 3.9. Daniel Aranda, Brianne Carr, Alexandra Cooper, Derek Kunitz, Bailey Dominguez, Nicole Dyer, Amelia Furlow, Jacob Gent, Noah Hovden, Brienne Jukums, Rhea Kaiser, Marcella Kuchma, Dominic Maniscalco, Olivia Murray, Rose Peters, Anihi Rodriguez, Molly Rude, Costa Skokos, Isaac Salverson, Abigail Tiemann, Stephen Wang, and Genevieve Wilson. The following students had a 4.0 during their three years here at LGMS. Emily Bledsoe, Rachel Chandek, James Clark, Ethan Francois, Lexi Gustafson, Sydney Krause, Lucy Pether, Lily Schult, Zoe Sheeks, Maya Tucker, Aiden Upling, and Eliana White. Congratulations to all those students. Next, I will be announcing the President's Education Awards. Founded in 1983, the President's Education Awards program honors graduating elementary, middle, and high school students for their achievement and hard work. The program has provided individual recognition from the President and the United States Secretary of Education to those students who outstanding efforts have enabled them to meet the challenging standards of excellence. Each year, thousands of elementary, middle, and high schools participate by recognizing deserving students. The following students have maintained a GPA of 3.5 or higher during their middle school years, and they have been in the 90th percentile or higher on their winter math and reading measure of academic progress. The students will receive a certificate for their achievement. The following students are Preston 
Armstrong. Emily Bledsoe. Bailey Dominguez. Nicole Dyer. Ethan Francois. Lexi Gustafson. Dominic Maniscalco. Olivia Murray. Lucy Pether. Margaret Keefe. Hunter O'Brien. Zoe Sheeks. Abigail Tiemann. Maya Tucker. Isaac Vandenberg. And Stephen Wang. Congratulations, students. Next, it is my honor to introduce Mrs. Barb Dynan, Vice President of the Lake Geneva Joint One School Board of Education, to present the prestigious Fuller Boutel Award. Mrs. Dynan. This year's recipient of the Fuller Boutel Award is a fine representative of the class of 2020. This award is presented in memory of Fuller Boutel, who served on the Board of Education for 32 years from 1941 to 1973. The student receiving this award has shown outstanding citizenship, scholarship, and community service. In addition to these activities, the recipient has accumulated an impressive academic record throughout the three years of middle school. On behalf of the Board of Education and the staff of the Lake Geneva Middle School, it is my honor to present the prestigious Fuller Boutel Award to Lucy Pether. Thank you, Mrs. Dynan, and congratulations, Lucy. It is truly an honor to be recognized for such a prestigious award, and it is well deserved. At this time, it is my privilege as principal of Lake Geneva Middle School in the Lake Geneva Joint One School District to present the class of 2020 to the Board of Education for the receipt of their promotion certificates. I take this action knowing that they have fulfilled the requirements necessary for this honor and are now eligible to proceed with their academic and educational endeavors into the ninth grade. To assist in this presentation, the eighth grade teachers will read the class roll. Hi, I'm Mr. Booth, eighth grade teacher in the Delta House. Someone once told me there was no strength without struggle. Unexpected change can happen, but I know you all handle it very well. You are a joy to have in homeroom, and you all will be missed. From the French donuts, to the craft projects, to in our discussions, you'll be missed more than you ever know. Congratulations on your graduation from Lake Geneva Middle School. And these are the following students in my homeroom. Yasmin Aranda, Grant Bittner, Liliana Borski, Anna Lee Donnan, Parker Gustafson, Maxim Jinga, Sydney Krause, Elizabeth Krober, Kylie Leslie. Alexander Lindblom, Adrian Luna Romero, Jasmine Maynell, Liam O'Brien, Molly Rude, Costa Skokas, Zoe Sheeks, Morgan Turner, Isaac Vandenberg, Eliana White, and David Yakaba. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Lindbergh. I'm a language arts teacher in Delta House. Today I'm going to be reading you a poem first and share some words. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and read my homeroom students. As we part ways at the end of this unusual year, I want to share with you a poem written by children's author, Dr. Karen Schrag. It's entitled, Think Like a Tree. Soak up the sun, affirm life's magic. Be graceful in the wind. Stand tall after the storm. Feel refreshed after it rains. Grow strong without notice. Be prepared for each season. Provide shelter to strangers. 
Hang tough through a cold spell. Emerge renewed at the first signs of spring. Stay deeply rooted while reaching for the sky. Be still long enough to hear your own leaves rustling. Please take these words to heart and realize that within those lines, there are many of life's little lessons. Our time together this year was cut too short, causing us to miss out on some of the best memories, but also making you stronger. You will look back at this time when you are an adult and will be able to share all that you were able to overcome. Although we didn't get the proper closure this year, I'm happy to look back fondly at the happy moments that we did share, the comfortable, routine we experienced together in those days before our world was turned upside down, the laughs we did experience. I wish you all nothing but the best and look forward to hearing of your future endeavors and accomplishments. Congratulations, eighth graders, and best of luck in high school. The following students are in my homeroom. Joseph Bortolis, Alexandra Cooper, Ella Creighton, Oscar Quatlaqual, Derek Kunitz, Bailey Dominguez, Nicole Dyer, William Fredrickson, Austin Golovin, Riley Hartnell, Noah Hovden, Paige Iris, Carter Johnson, Rose Peters, Fallon Piper, Bernice Quintana, Javier Sanchez, Luke Smiley, Russell Spaulding, Brandon Watrous, and Danica Wise Stevens. Congratulations, homeroom and all eighth graders. Hello, my name is Mrs. Mazurek. I teach science in Delta House. I want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm sorry the year didn't go quite as we planned, but I hope that you all were able to stay safe and stay well. The following students in my homeroom are Abigail Ull, Alex Berger, Gavin Bogart, Jasley Catildo, Logan Clausen, Alex Cornu, Valentino DeAnda, Wyatt Figuart. Hayden Itzenheiser, Hannah Cluen, Adilin Lapointe, Alvaro Murillo, Caitlin Nichols, Benjamin Olson, Anthony Richardson, Jameson Smith, William Spendy, Jasmine Valdez Salinas. Ava Weber, and Genevieve Wilson. My name is Mr. Tamayo. I'm from Delta House. Um, I wanted to thank you for the wonderful time we shared this year. Together, we've gotten to learn more about ourselves and about each other. I truly appreciated having you in our homeroom. I always look forward to seeing you first thing in the morning and hearing about the things you wanted to share. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. You have the capacity to be the person you want to be. The following students are in my homeroom. Lucas Atkins, Jacob Billingsley, McKenna Button, Caden Seacott, Luis Figueroa, Amelia Furlo, Mason Miller, Leviticus Morris, Joseph Owen, Emily Provencher, Jade Ramirez, Javier Reyes, Karen Rodriguez, Roman Ruelas Porras, Isaac Solverson, Justin Storp, Christian Tills, and Evan Venom. Hello, my name is Troy Watson. I'm an eighth grade social studies teacher in Delta House. I would like to congratulate the LGMS class of 2020, and I wish you the best of luck in the future. The following students in my homeroom are Eliana Allheit, Kelvin Anderson, Delilah Cardiff, Rachel Chandick, Raymond Clevenger, Maria Dickfoss, Gianna Horn, Kayla Johnson, Maurice Keller, 
Samantha Logston, Levi McRae, Crystal Mendoza, Arwen Musling, Olivia Murray, Landon Ottestead, Malachi Roberts, Jordan Salmonig, Noah Schaub, Cassidy Schultz, Maddie Sherman, and Truman Von Hunius. Hi, I'm Mrs. Zorch from Delta House. Two things I'd like to share with you before I send you off to high school. The first thing is I wanted you to know that I missed you terribly. The second thing I wanted to tell you is be safe, be healthy, and always be the good you wish to see in the world. The following students were in my homeroom this past school year. Tara Bremner, Wild Chupich, Ava Cottle, William Eck, Frederick Goy, Aiden Jablonski, Brett Johnson, Laquan Jones, Brennan Jacobs, Marcella Kuchma, Samuel Melkai, Logan Nowak, Daniel Ochoa, Lucy Pether, Cheyenne Skinner, Cynthia Stephan, Hope Suhaida, Hunter Thompson, Aiden Upling, Sophia Verdi, and Ethan Winters. Hello, I'm Mrs. Foster from Omega House. Eighth graders, having you in class was a joy, and I wish we could have ended the year together. I'm incredibly proud of your hard work throughout the past three years. There are infinite possibilities of, to what each and every one of you can achieve if you continue to work hard. Remember, you can always count on your LGMS teachers, staff, and friends to help you out. Good luck and congratulations. The following students in my homeroom are Hared Alonzo, Tanner Bishop, Brianne Carr, Sienna Denton, Kenneth Doan, Madison Domelik, Joseph Doyle, Lexi Gustafson, Walter Coaster, Avery Lopez, Michael Myers, Kendra Mullen, Hunter O'Brien, Sonia Perez, Mauricio Cerna, Madeline Volgamot, Stephen Wang, Ella Willett. I'm Mrs. Janison from Omega House. This year has shown you at a young age that sometimes circumstances are out of our control and that life can be scary and unpredictable. In searching for words of advice, I keep coming back to the poet Adam Lindsay Gordon, who said, life is mostly froth and rubble. Two things stand like stone, kindness in another's trouble and courage in your own. I wish you courage for the challenges, big and small, you will face in your future. And I wish you the patience and empathy to be kind to others who are facing their own battles. The following students in my homeroom are Lillian Allen, Travis Bates, Emily Bledsoe, Patrick Corey, 
Vanessa Cruz, Alan Davenport, Ethan Francois, Jessica Gonzalez Vences, Jacob Gonzalez Lozano, Tristan Hernandez, Finn Hillier, Morgan Krause, Cole Lohmeyer, Cole Lubino, Hunter McCarthy, Magnus Shantz, Brady Schmidt, Lauren Stanford, Jocelyn Torres, and Ian Vickery. I'm Mrs. Crean. I'm an Omega House teacher. You are the class of 2024. Chasing your dreams requires effort and passion. These past months have tested your perseverance and commitment. You stepped up to the challenge, gave your best, and that shows you got what it takes. The best is yet to come, and you are on your way. Congratulations. The following students are in my homeroom. Preston Armstrong, Rebecca Bergmeier, Alexander Franzen, Jacqueline Garcia Amador, Leslie Gonzalez, Aliana Jaramillo, Margot Keefe, Rhea Kaiser, Gage Cosbiel, Luke Lovato, Soraya Lewins, Dominic Maniscalco, Thomas McKinney, Will Payne, Ella Rayfeld, Evelyn Sanchez, Torrance Smith, Jordan Sneed, Anna White, and Christian Wolf. Hi, I'm Mr. Martin, 8th grade social studies teacher in the Omega House, and I just wanted to congratulate uh, the 8th grade students here at LGMS. Congratulations on your accomplishment. One thing I really miss is the opportunity uh, to go along and, and uh, congratulate each one of you and shake your hand. Uh, that's one thing that I really look forward to at the promotion ceremony every year is as the students line the halls before uh, they ever make it over to the stage, I walk along and shake hands and congratulate people and just a good time to kind of reminisce on the year. Uh, so consider this my virtual handshake to you guys and congratulations. Uh, the following students in my homeroom are Daniel Aranda, Wade Blakely, Tim Blum, David Chiquillo, Jack Clark, Gabe Courier, Dom Flagg, Jacob Gent, Kylie Cramp, Dylan Marusek, Gage Nicholson, Max Roberts, Michael Schroeder, Christian Schuler, Lily Schult, Josh Sneed, Rivaldo Torres, Zach Wheaton, Colton Whitmire, and Jacob Wolf. Hello, my name is Amy Polokas, Omega House Science Teacher. I wanted to send a special message to my homeroom and to all Omega students. During the pandemic shutdown, I have learned a few things about myself and about the world around me. I have seen that, like many trials in life, that the only thing we have control over is our own response to these challenges. It is my hope for you as your teacher that you reflect on your own lives at this turning point and to think ahead to how you want to emerge from this situation. What can you do now, today, that will help you to become stronger, more resilient, kinder, smarter, and happier? I hope that one thing you've learned this year is that surrounded by good people who support you, you are capable of this challenge and are more than ready for the next one. Congratulations on your achievements, and I wish you the very best in your future. The following students in my homeroom are Giovanni Baia Alicia, Ryan Bays, Rachel Boyle, Jonathan Gutierrez, Brianna Hendricks, Charles Hirth, Victoria Canonalos, Peyton Krause, 
Aubrey Camaro, Jasmine Lobbinger, Logan McCabe, Anthony Rosinski, Matthew Reyes, Toby Reek, Ana E. Rodriguez, Araceli Ramiro Molina, Andrea Sanchez, Brooklyn Schmidt, Gina Stanaway, and Azaria Thompson. Hi, I am Mrs. Schultz with Omega House. To my wonderful homeroom, despite the fact that you never understood that you should be quiet and tired on Monday mornings, I loved having your exuberance and goofiness in my room to begin each day. Thank you for making me smile, teaching me where to find the best french fries, and fully embracing a week of musical seats. One thing I will truly remember about this homeroom is how kind you always were to each other, and that is something I hope you never lose. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Dumbledore told Harry, it is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are. So make good choices, work hard, get involved in extracurriculars, and enjoy your years in high school. The following students in my homeroom are Scarlett Bliss Schulten, Parker Blount, Chloe Chapel, Ella Coltman, Brody Covert, Lily Elzer, Clayton Flies, Gianna Hernandez, Sarah Mangold, Fannery Mendoza, Alex Marino, Fatima Munawar, Linda Noyes, Aaron Priester, Brendan Revel, James Swike, Abigail Tiemann, Maya Tucker, Emanuel Valadez, and Logan Walruff. Hello, I'm Scott Turk from the Omega House. Um, I've known a lot of you for the last few years here at this building. Um, it's great to see you guys grow and mature over the last couple of years, and I uh, wish you all the best as you move on to, to Badger. So the following students are in my homeroom. Uh, Isabel Ackerman, Kay DeZekin, Tony Fernandez, Ethan Massoni, and Johanna Sanchez. This is truly a special night for all involved. We have a group of students that have grown from children to young adults over their middle school careers. I have been able to witness so many of these students achieve great academic and personal success. This class not only represents students with high academic achievements, but more importantly, this is a class that is respectful and caring of each other. Students, as you begin the next steps of your lives, remember the great times that you have had during middle school and make the most of the opportunities that you will have in the future. We have a great group of students here, and I know the success stories that will come from this group will be large in numbers. These young people are ready to head to their next academic challenge, high school. They have not gotten to this point by themselves, however. It is only through the dedication and hard work of parents, relatives, teachers, and community members that these students have been able to achieve this level of accomplishment. Thank you for sharing in our celebration this evening and on behalf of the Lake Geneva Middle School staff, we extend our best wishes to the class of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lake Geneva Middle School class of 2020, congratulations to all. Thank you.